Hello cousins, I'm Otiano Ocho and this is BNN, providing you with the latest news and entertainment. Today we are going to talk about one lady who has been trending in BNN Premium. If you're a BNN Premium user, then you probably know of this lady, Chabet Kipingor. Yes, that lady. This all started when BNN did a story about this Chile called Adriana. So this Chile Adriana, apparently she was raped. And the story, by BNN covering that story, it made it look like Walikuwa well, Nongeza pain to her to have to have troubles so 75 percent of the users of bnn premium wali vote that the story should be pulled down but one user in particular chebet <laughs> chebet wako antaka story and uh, she was like no i lazima ni kufe na mtu history kikufa lazima ikufe na mtu so chebet decided to use her media job to do a story on edgar obari and the headline was edgar's bnn from a dod to abhorred. <laughs> As my friend Ryan likes to say, we the bees like to keep it buzzing. And when you go and poke a bee's nest, don't expect honey. <laughs> and go barren nani. Una mjamu na msikia. He exposed Chebet and apparently Chebet had been giving him intel about the real housewives of Nairobi and she also accused Mine and her husband of being insurance scammers. Yani wash boy. Before we go on, Chebet Kipingor and Susan Kaitani are best friends, so you know where I'm heading with this. Chebet also claimed that the reason for Dr. Maria to quit the show was Mine. She also claimed that the producer of the show, Eugene Mugwa, contacted Mine so that she can bring some, some drama, some sauce to the show. She also claimed that Mine had been targeting her bestie Susan Kaitani from day one, from the body shaming, from calling her flamingo to all. You guys also remember the story of a housewife being called by the police over defamation and cyberbullying cases. Yes, Chebet was behind all that. And I remember sometimes because I watched the show from A to Z and I liked seeing other people's different viewpoints. And there was this South African housewife curator. And this is what he had to say. They call me his royaltiness all the way from South Africa. Listen. I've just gotten off from a Skype call with someone in Kenya who stays in Nairobi. They are my person on the ground. They are telling me that the reunion of the Real Housewives of Nairobi is short during, like, I'm not sure whether today it's going to be short today or it was short yesterday or it's going to be this weekend. I'm recording this on a Friday, right? But there's a housewife who was arrested apparently i don't know what what's happening but for violation of what did they say protection or keep in mind this was before the reunion before we knew mine was the one who was called by the police for the cyberbullying and defamation cases yani <laughs> chebet alienda on a media rant alienda hadi south africa alienda di south africa you guys also remember when mine claimed that susan kaitani was paying people to tarnish her name <laughs> guys the the two and two the two and two are adding which also makes me think susan kaitani could also be probably behind this all because susan kaitani and mine <laughs> how quite patana in that show Anyway, guys, Chebet reacted to the expose, and this is what she had to say. Long story short, if proving myself was a person, then what that greedy idiot is doing right now just underscores the importance of my article. Edgar Obare profited and exploited a video of a woman getting raped and no amount of propaganda can justify what he did. The people of Twitter X who shared that video despite how depraved they are, they are didn't put it up and ask people to pay and watch a woman get sexually assaulted and profit from it in the name of T. <laughs> Mambo muka. Anyway, guys, I don't have anything to say about uh, her reaction. Um, what do you think? Drop your comments uh, down below and I'll really like to hear from them. Otiono Ocho, signing out.